DT Swiss recently announced the new FR541 rim, and we've been sent one of only three pairs in New Zealand. So a huge thanks to DT Swiss and their New Zealand wholesaler Marlene for giving us the first look. We're constantly looking to improve the wheels we build, and we love DT Swiss rims. So we immediately wanted to understand this new rim and how we can use it. In case you need a refresher, the modern DT Swiss rim lineup for 30mm internal rims looks like this. The XM481 is the lightest at around 520 grams for a 29 inch rim, and it works really well on downcountry bikes. The EX511 is the enduro version, adding 50 grams, and is probably the best known DT Swiss rim. And the HX531 is the hybrid e bike version, it's another 30 grams heavier than the EX511. The new FR541 29 inch rims weigh 590 grams each. Every one of these DT Swiss rims needs another 10 grams for the required nipple washers. With the new FR541 now in hand, the similarity to the rest of the range is even more apparent, and the only visible difference between the rims is this new bead lip on the 541, which DT Swiss claims increases pinch flat resistance. Are there more differences that we're unable to see? Well, there's only one way to find out. So where is the material difference between these rims, and how different is the new FR541? I took seven specific measurements of each rim. As expected from DT's signature robustness, they share a lot of similarities in how they're designed and manufactured. All four of these rims share a 30mm internal width and a 20.85mm depth. The tubeless gutter thickness is also the same across all of the rims, except the EX511, which curiously is a little bit thinner. This section of the rim isn't under a lot of load, so even on a heavy duty rim, a decent chunk of weight could be saved by having a thin profile here. The sidewall of the rim is also the same thickness across all four. I was surprised by this, as I expected to see that the heavier duty rims had a thicker sidewall to distribute impact loads around the rim more, so that really interests me. The nipple seat thickness does change as you go up in rim weight though. The XM481 and EX511 measure 1.73mm, and the HX531 and the new FR541 thicken this up by a quarter of a millimeter. This makes sense as these rims are designed for heavier bikes and heavier use. In these cases, the loads transferred through each spoke from the hub into the rim will increase and more aluminum is required to manage that load and ensure the rims don't crack at the nipple holes. Of all of the different brands of aluminum rims we've built with, these current model DT Swiss rims are the only ones where we don't see cracks at this point of the rim after heavy use. And this is one of the key reasons that we love them so much. It's the bead hook and the bead thickness which really changes across these four rims. The lighter weight XM481 measures only 1.31 millimeters, and this steadily increases as the rims get heavier. The new FR541 is a full 27% thicker here to shrug off the big impacts expected on a freeride rim. The bead lip thickness also changes. The lighter XM481 of course has the narrowest bead lip. No surprises here as we're trying to keep the weight down and we expect fewer rim hits on a downcountry bike. What did surprise me is that the HX531, which is heavier than the EX511, has a slightly thinner bead lip. This shows that the EX511 has been specifically designed for absorbing large hits, which is exactly what you'd expect on an Enduro rim, but the HX531 doesn't have this in mind quite as much. Simply put, more material here means a stronger rim, as it's able to spread the impact force over a greater amount of aluminum. It also spreads that force down the rim, into the sidewall, and therefore around the rim. The FR541, with its new shaped lip, is much thicker than its predecessors, plus it's tapered outwards. This 2.3mm bead lip is specifically designed for reducing damage to the rim, but also, and importantly, reducing damage to the tire's sidewall. DT worked with a leading tire maker and measured a 17% reduction in tire damage when the wheel takes a big hit. During the truing and tensioning stage, the DT Swiss build quality really shines through, as there is very little lateral or radial wobble in the rim. When I measured the ERD, that's the 
Diameter where the spoke nipples sit, and it's the most important dimension for building wheels. The variance between the largest and smallest diameters was only 39 hundredths of a millimeter, even at the welded join. That is incredible quality, and it shows that DT Swiss really have their extrusion, rolling, and welding processes down pat. We can only build wheels which are as good as the rims, so all of these factors make DT Swiss an obvious choice for our extremely high quality wheels. So after the first look, who do we think these are for? The FR541 looks to be really well suited for enduro and e-bikes, especially as a rear wheel which takes the most abuse. I imagine we'll be pairing a lot of FR541 rear rims with EX511 front rims. The EX511 is a little lighter and most riders simply don't need the extra front rim durability or pinch flat resistance of the heavier FR541. I imagine the FR541 will be taking the place of the HX531 as it's the same weight and same spec, but with a slightly improved new bead. The other DT Swiss aluminum rims are great quality, and after our first look, the FR541 is no different. Stock is going to arrive this week and they'll be making their way onto our website shortly, but if you don't see them or if you need any help choosing between the FR541 and the EX511 or HX531, please reach out to our team. We build every pair of wheels right here in Wellington, New Zealand, and we ship worldwide. Want to know more about the DT Swiss range? Have any other questions? Send it into the comments and make sure you hop to the subscribe button.